Um, right. So let me uh, let me let's, let's see who's in chat. Who's here? Who's who's present? You're all oh they're all oh that dog cage yeah. April Fools the stream was an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, it could have been. Um, no, no April Fools today. Don't worry. It's past noon in Great Britain, and apparently that's part of it, isn't it? That like you can't do it past midday. I always thought that was a little bit cheeky, che well cheaty rather than cheeky. It was a bit cheaty back in uh, when I was a kid, and I used to care a bit more about April Fools. But it's like you know, just let people do it all day. It's more fun that way, isn't it? You know, the longer it goes on, the more people actually actually just stop and evaluate, like, and apply a bit of critical thinking when they read stuff on the internet today for twelve hours until until noon, and then if if anything breaks at five twelve five minutes past twelve, oh by the way, this politician's done that, and this this uh, large large conglomerate of the, of uh, that has some monopoly in all over the world, Google. Google have have uh, are, are taking away the rights of babies. Um, people believe it straight away. Whereas eleven fifty nine, going to stop and go. Hmm, should I? Maybe I should just um analyze an analyze the likelihood of this before I believe it. Analyze everyone. Don't forget to analyze before you believe things you read on the internet. Hello. Everyone, uh, good afternoon. Uh, we are here to play Beyond Good and Evil. Um, we've probably got about two streams worth left of this game. Um, because, although we've basically been given our final, our final, there's sort of three big missions in this game. There's, you, you go to the, go to the factory, then go to the slaughterhouse, then you go to the moon. Um, those are kind of the three acts. But because although we've been given the briefing now, go to the moon and save your Uncle Paige, the pig man, who it turns out is actually the the leader of the Iris Network. What the hell? Spoilers. I mean, that was revealed in the last stream. Um, we can't get to the moon yet because we need Paige's spaceship, which is hidden in a secret location in the lighthouse. And first, first thing we're going to do is go and find that. Um, but then once we've got that, we need to like super up with a couple of things. We need to. I think we need to buy two things from uh, Mama Go's uh, garage. So um, let's let's pull up the the game. Uh, that one. That's the button. Um, it's a black screen right now, but it is fine. Okay, there we go. We're in. So we've got things to do. Oh, thank you. Uh, Lou E. J. Weber for subscribing with Twitch Prime. I don't think I got an alert for that. Oh no, maybe maybe something's maybe something's slightly wrong with the alerts. Oh, am I gonna have to just keep an eye on? Oh, this is the thing. You share a you share a you share a system across a couple of Twitch channels, and then when you log back into your own one, oh, that's that's just slightly worrying. Um. Hmm. No alert, yeah. Oh, Fred the Shed, was it different because it was a resub? Possibly. Maybe. If someone wants to donate, like, a cent or more uh, at <laughs> triple ju.mp forward slash donate or using the buttons below, then uh, that, that would help. Um, you know, at least if a donation comes up, I'll be able to see if they're working or not. Um, yeah, who's to say? Are the alerts still in the dog cage? Yeah, they might. They might be. Um, Rory Siegel says it should still. It still alerts when you do that. Okay. Well, I may have to phone for some assistance from the upstairs office. In any case, well, I'll get. I'll get going with the game. I'll keep an eye on chat on the. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, huh. I don't know. I'll keep an eye on chat. See if any alerts come through on chat that should definitely have been on on the screen because uh, I don't want you guys to miss out on those those lovely things. Um, so we're in the iris den. Let me know the sound as well as well because I don't know if they've messed around with with the whole mix and stuff. All, all kinds of things could have gone wrong, thanks to the dog day. Um, right. Oh, do we not get pearls? Maybe we got them already. I don't, yeah, I think we did. Um, 
Have you already located the transmitter? The waves are coming from the surface of the moon. They must have a base up there. Do you know why Paige was hiding his ship? If you ask me, he was probably trying to lie low until the alpha sections forgot about him. But I'm sure he kept it close by. You've probably passed it a million times without even knowing it. So I'm trying to I'm trying to find out where the ship is. May. Did you know that the page is chief virus? None of us knew it, Jay. He never stepped foot inside here. He always transmitted from a secret hideout. Page, the chief of the Iris Network. Don't hold it against him, Jay. He wants to keep you safe. Have you seen the photos of the slaughterhouses? Yep. That's it. Issue five fourteen is out. It's horrendous what's happening over there. Couldn't do anything in the guards were over because of the Um Flower Pockets is subscribed with Twitch Prime for two months. I didn't get an alert. Okay. I might I might telephone my hero and saviour, Benjamin Potter. I don't know if it's because of Twitch Prime and it's like re resubscribing or not, but we'll I'll I'll ask for some help. Uh Ben Potter. Everyone say hi when he when he answers, okay? Let's just pause it so we You're over there, aren't you? Microphone. Peter. Hello, Ben Potter. Are you okay? Um, I'm I'm mostly okay, Ben Potter. Uh we're not we don't seem to be getting alerts anymore on the on the streamlabs. Um and, oh. and the OBSs. Um, signed into Streamlabs on my computer. I am in the browser, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So I don't know if it's something that happened with the dog stream and now it's not been I mean, you know, it's not it's not a massive deal, but uh, I just thought I'd at least let you know in case you had any ideas that you could do remotely. But but don't I don't need to worry about it. Okay, thank you very much. Maybe ask maybe ask the Tubmans. He might know if, if something was changed. Thank you. Thank you very much. No Alright then. Goodbye then. Bye for now. Bye bye now. Bye. Bye bye now. Bye. It's good having a friend, isn't it, upstairs? I just get to sit here and play video games and he has to sort out this fucking mess. this uh, this ble bleeding mess. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's been a while since Already I've recorded any switch. East to district behind the fountain. Oh yeah, we've got a we've got a star button now. A, a star a star thingy, a, 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 one of these. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I recorded a video, so I just I did a, an f bomb there. That was a, a bad boy. Oh, here he is. Someone's here. Hello. Hello, Adam Pachiti. How's it going? Uh, it's going alright. We don't seem to get alerts for, for subscriptions. So I don't know if something's been changed or not. Um, um, I can figure out. I can hang on, let me tell out of this game. Oh, shit. What the hell's Adam? Okay. Um, so, there's an old in there. Have you been fooled today? Uh, no, we're doing some fools today. We are, we're doing a fool today. Are you? Well, spoilers. I've not actually. Oh. It's not come out yet, so there's oh. a bit of a spoiler. But. No, there's been some really unfunny wrestling ones. Uh, oh, yeah. Kicking about. Uh, but, no, not yet. No. I. I I'm not a big fan, to be honest. I know that makes me sound like a complete. No, I knob. said the same thing when the stream started. Like, you know, I think it's it's a bit silly. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry about this, guys. This is my fault entirely. That's okay. Um, alert. Uh, control V. Con control V. Yeah. There we go. Let's do a test. Yes. There we go. This See is ya. Just donation thank you, dollar. Adam. Um, thank you, Tester, uh, Test John, for donating seventy. He didn't really, but if anyone wants to, that would be lovely. We're all good. Just, just a bit of live. Uh, oh. Oh, it's all. Hang on. I've not all got. I've not got my windows up yet. That's from T Bonser. Our. Uh, today we are sponsored by T Bonser. Thank you very much. Um, right there we go. It's fine. Don't worry. I'll I'll uh, I'll go a bit further on this. We'll we'll overrun slightly. I mean to be fair, you had you had an, an extra like twenty five minutes treat last week, but maybe it was imp maybe I knew this was going to happen. Thank you, Phineas 07 for subscribing. They're all coming through now. 
And Thwaro, I can see in chat. It's not. I haven't even had an alert yet. But you're, maybe it'll do it. It'll just tick round. There it is. Thwayo. Th th Thwayo. Th that's a tricky one. Um, this seems really loud now. As long as it's okay for you guys, then that's fine. I'll, I'll do... I've got a knob here. There we go. Right, let's... Oh! Just... Uh, everyone calm down! <laughs> right. We're good. It's also very warm in here. I may at some point have to get up and just... Just notch that down by two degrees. But not right now. We'll, we'll wait. And it might even be a cutscene for you to watch. And, and then, uh, you know, that'll be good filler. So, today, we're on a massive pearl hunt, basically. Um... I'll show you why we're on. I'll, 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 I'll just progress the story slightly and I'll show you why we need these pearls before I start just getting pearls for no reason. Because you might be like, well, why, why don't you just go and get this spaceship? As you'll see, it's not as simple as that. But we'll, we'll go and do that just to. So oh, look! They're increasing the presence of soldiers in the streets because people are protesting now more and more. Um, it's interesting. So. Um. We we have the governor gave us. We do. Oh, double H. Let's go to your place. He's a cheeky boy, isn't he? Home this way. Biff. So we've got the jump pack now. For that crap. Yeah, the governor gave us a um, a key card that has a star on it that opens doors that have stars on them. Um, and there's a couple of those in and around town, I think. Um, so that's gonna help. And we'll go and do those shortly. Adam Pacitti just subscribed. Thank you, Adam Pacitti. I think that's the actual one. We did once get a subscription from, like, Adam Pacitti Cheeseman or something. But, uh, you know, we're fine. So. Um, so this mumbo jumbo about shoes. Do you have any idea? Yeah, well. So I'll show you the disc, the M disc that... Page gave for us just before he got taken, because this there's some significance here. Jade, you inherited generosity and courage from your parents. You know, I think about them a lot. We were very close friends. So basically, he tells us that um, it still exists. He has a ship called the Beluga that he arrived to the planet on. Thank you, Mexican Lesage. Lessage. Um, so there's a checkup report on his desk. Okay, I'll, I'll grab that. I'm going to need that. So you have to you have enter, enter a code, code into, into one of the consoles one of the console to open the secret hiding place. And you're like, oh, okay. Well, where are these hidden consoles? Good luck, Jade. And then the last slide is this board. And you're like, oh, okay. So I know where one of those is. It's just out here. Uh, so, we step over to this, and, oh, there's a secret console. But then it's like, oh, well, I don't know what the code is. Just because I know where the console is, that doesn't tell me anything. Um, the clue is the fact that the design for his jet boots is on there. And we actually have, quiet phone, let me put that on, and do not disturb. We actually have his jet boots. We recovered them, if you remember, from a locker in the the place, the, the, the thingy place. And they have codes on the bottom, which I think change depending on, like, your run. It's not. I don't think it's always the same code, which is interesting. Um, Paige's jet boots. He seemed rather attached to me. Never let me take a close look at them. So, M4, D9. I think you can put either one in either one. So, uh... M4 D9. M. Oh, wait, no. Um, we'll do the other one first, because for reasons that will become apparent shortly. So the other one is up in the lighthouse. Let's just talk to this um, this orphan here. She doesn't. She didn't used to speak English, and throughout the game she learns more and more English, and it turns out she knew that Paige was... Oh yeah, so we've already seen this, but this is what she was talking about. Come Page talked to Iris the night he looked under his shoes. Then he opened the two boards. Batan, Batan. So she knows. Why? I, I always leave this on and it gets turned off. The kids just turn the shield off when they... 
Anything could happen. Need to, need to leave that switched on, kids. Um, right, so the other board, I believe, is upstairs. In here somewhere. Be whip. Thank you. Ethereal devastation. I guess it's the 1st of April, so we're getting a lot of renewals now, which is lovely. Thank you. Thanks to it. Seriously, it's easy to just, like, you know, the name comes up and go, thanks for the subscription. But, um, it's nice that people have, you know, you did your, you did your first month, or maybe the first couple of months, and now you're thinking, hey, I'm a stick around. Um, nice of you to, to choose to do that. Um, so. Uh, here we go. So this is the other one. So what was it? M four D six, I think. Um, oh, no, don't don't put them anywhere. Uh, M four D nine. M four D nine. Oh, well, maybe it does matter. Maybe you have to do one in. That's interesting. I didn't. I thought it didn't matter. Maybe I've always just happened to do it right when I was younger. So M four D nine. It should have been. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Z four R nine. Weird. Okay. Z four R nine. That's better. There we go. Double H. Where you at? You got anything to say about this? Does Double H not come upstairs? Is he... Does he... He respects my privacy. Can you, uh... Can you kill these flies with... No. Okay. Um... Here he is. So what do you reckon about the fact that I just did that? Any ideas? Does M just... He want, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's, he's giving me... He's giving me hints. If only we had been able to get them and give them a really good looking over. Well, we did get them. Uh, you know anything about those star keys? Affirmative property of the alpha sections. Okay. Tyler, Warden, music. Cheered for 100 bits. Bits. Thank you for the cheer and the bits. So the star key that we've got, it doesn't just get us into special areas. It gets, gets us into like alpha sections zones. So uh, that's going to be... Probably some high, some high risk stuff. Good, code accepted. That's the one. Two shoes, two codes. Is there another picture like the one at your place? Okay. Do you have exact information on the lunar base? Negative, Miss Jade. All I know is that they sent a packet of material up there recently. Okay, that's weird. So I'll show you why I wanted to do this one second. Perfect. Now we just have to find where to enter the second code. Right here! Hub! That's his name. That's what May calls him. It's the only time he's ever referred to by his actual name. I keep using the spacebar on my keyboard for this because I don't know what button it's mapped to on this controller. M4D9. Good. I should know that now. I've looked about four times. M4... D... 9. Here we go. Have we found the beluga? It turns into a big button. We press the big button. And the reason I want to do this here is because it's right there. The beams of light we shining need through. Jump BG cosplay ASAP. Oh my god. When you say triple jump BG cosplay, oh, I'm ruining the moment. There she is. The beluga. I'm hoping that uh, the ship appears at least sort of. You've been hiding this from me for the past 20 years. Uh, sure he was just trying to protect you. I hope it appears at the end of the uh, the prequel that's coming out in the in the next couple of years. Oh, so here's his desk. So this is the checkup report. I was going to say, I don't know which desk he's talking about there. Beluga checkup. Um, so BG, triple jump BGE cosplay ASAP. Do you mean like you need you need the people like me and Ben from triple jump to do BG cosplay? Or do you mean the fans? Or or what, what what do you mean? I want I want I want details. I want um, is there an M disc reader anywhere around here? No. Let's 
head back to the workshop. Yeah, okay. Um, that pig can keep a secret, so it's quite insane. Yeah. Yeah, he's a sneaky pig. Uh, Beluga checker. <sighs> the Beluga uh, overhaul checker. Depth stabilizers, okay. Octo combustions, okay. Flight stabilizers, missing. Gonna have to install the one I've already got and then try and remember to pick another one from those crooks at Mamago Garage. Also, guidance hovercraft, okay. Hyper sustenance sort sorting board, okay. Parallel, it's like the opening loading screen of The Sims. Parallelism nozzles, okay. Stellar motor missing. Only needed for space flight. Got a bound from those cons at Momigos. So, if we want to be able to just fly it anywhere, or just off the ground, just around Hillis, we need two flight stabilizers, otherwise it, otherwise it wobbles all over the shop. One of them is here on his desk. Pick it up. Pick it up. Thank you. Okay, digitalization terminated. Not much to look at, but, but it's important. So that goes right in here. On the outside of the ship, just fairly loose. Um, so there's another one there required. If we mm -hmm. enter the ship... You and Ben, particularly. But, heck, everyone should get in on the concept. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you again for, for more bits there, Tyler. Um... Up you go. So if we now try and take off... Oh! It's too wobbly! We need the stabilizers! Ah! Oh, okay. If we want to get off the ground, we're gonna need one flight stabilizer for each reactor. So, that is why we need the pearls. So that is why, for the next hour and 45... We will be doing a big old pearl hunt. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, hang on, before I leave. Um, have, I don't know if I, maybe I already checked this, but have I got all of the animals? Oh, there's an animal here still. On the second floor. Okay, well, let's go do that. No, I can't shoot here. It's too dangerous. I'm not trying to shoot. I'm trying to dock. It's the same button. Allow me to do it. Okay. Let's go snap this animal. Because remember, every time we finish a roll of film, we get a pearl from the science center as well. So there's all kinds of ways, actually, for us to now get a bunch more pearls, which is nice. So is it down on this little... Um... Yeah, it's down here. <laughs> I don't know what we're actually coming down here to photograph. Not this boy, I thought I've already... Or maybe I chose to do it later because he's... Uh... No, yeah, he's the... Oop, I didn't mean to do that. I'm in a microwave, it's alright, don't worry about it. Um... Is it the seagulls? Is it one of the giant sort of flying manta rays? Oh, I think. I think if you come here at night time, there are all these like glowing things flying around this tree, but you, it can, you can only do it at night. I'm not sure how quick the day-night cycle is, whether it's worth waiting around. It probably isn't. Uh, we'll be back here at night time again, I'm sure. But yeah, I think that's there's definitely somewhere where there's just flowing, like glowing, like oh, <laughs> do that, uh, glowing balls of light. And I think it's so that they're marked on the map, but it's like they're not there right now because it's not night time. That's fine. We'll be back. <laughs> Can we get? I'm in a microwave. Don't worry about it. On a shirt says Demi and Kempton. Yeah, okay. Why not? We could actually do that. We could just get like, I'm in a microwave or something. Beep, 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 beep. I'm in a microwave. Um, here we go, okay. Will you have to play row of four to get pearls? Uh, not, I don't think you can play row of four in this game, but there are various, so we can, we can go back and have another round of that sort of row of four game where you have to get four discs into the enemy zone. 
Uh, you know what I'm talking about if you've been watching the, the streams. Oh, look, there's one of the. I think this is the one I've already got, but let's have a go. No. no that's the one. I'm sure there's another one. There's like a blue one that's a, technically a different animal. Um. Yeah, so one pearl we can get is um, by going and playing the disc thing, the disc game. Uh, is this? Oh, that's Slaughterhouse Race. So we can do the Slaughterhouse Race as well. You win a pearl for, for that. There's all kinds of ways. In fact, what we'll do first is we'll go to the garage, the Mamago Garage, and see... Oh, too soon. And uh, see just how many pearls we will be requiring today. Total. Um, Mama, go. Mama go. We're here. Hey Jade, where you been hiding? Is he not going to say it? No, he's not. Okay, sometimes he says that, but not this time. So a flight stabilizer is twenty pearls. We might even have that. Do we have that? We got we got that. So now we can fly the beluga. That's awesome. That's going to make things easier, actually, because there's at least one place that you can only access with the beluga to get a load of pearls. So that's that's good to know. Um, is that just in my inventory now? And this thing is a whole 30 pearls. And we're only on four pearls now. So that's, you know, that's a lot. Okay. We'll have that. Yeah, I understand. Thank you. A boost uh, capsule we'll have a boost. triples your a set of pods completely I restores your vehicle's energy. I might just energy. buy the lot. There's a couple of pearls for sale in town as well. A box of completely so, restores we're your spoiled energy. for choice in a way. Um, when I first started doing this playthrough, I did kind of think, oh, I don't know if I'll be like doing a 100% run because there's quite a lot of side quests, if you okay. like, and sort of branching... You know, lots of optional things. Why do the vending machines have to just talk to you the whole time? I don't like it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, be, be quiet, please. I'm just trying to talk to the audience. Um, we are... Uh, we've got lots of different side missions and things to do. Lots of animals to take photos of, and you don't need to 100% the animal quest to complete the game. Hello? What's going on? Um, Double H, the lighthouse, they've destroyed it. The kids, oh, my God, quickly, Miss Jane. There still may be time. The lighthouse has been attacked. It's literally gone. Look, it's just half of it's not even a oh no. The lighthouse, did you see the alpha sections leaving? Why is it not playing this good music for this bit? Is it gonna play it? Doors closed. What's been going on around here? What door? Where's the good music? Oh, there no. Is. no, no, no! Oh my God! Pablo, Ben, Yella! Careful, Miss Jade. The Alpha section. Oh look, they're down there. there. The, the, the sparkly the things. They're down. They've taken... Just take a photo of the animal while this dramatic moment is happening. Lucille's wonderful. Yeah, the yeah they did. The kids did turn the shield off again. Mad March hair. You're absolutely right. I, d I try my utmost to help them. Kids. Imagine this is horrible though. Like this is an orphanage. Oh my god, the place has just been like turned upside down. And the, the just the top of the lighthouse has been blown up. This is a bit of a feels kind of moment, I'm afraid. My God. Oh, the dog. <sighs> this is a metaphor. It sounds like she's having a go at the dog, but it's a metaphor. You need to think about what she's saying here. 
She's not being mean to the dog. Poor Wolf. I know how you are. You tried to help them. You told yourself that you wouldn't let them come to any harm. That you'd be there to protect them. I know, boy. Thank you, Yojimbo Unchained, for the subscription. But that isn't what actually happened. The kids are gone. And you... You couldn't do anything. You're, you're here, alive and well. Who do you think you are? Did you think you'd actually be able to make a difference? That wolf. <laughs> you were wrong, boy. Completely and utterly wrong. There's nothing anyone can do. Oh, double H. There's Dad. Nothing anyone can do. See, she's talking about herself. We must go now, Mr. And Iris. She blames herself for getting involved. It's over, Double H. Finished. They're still alive, Miss Jade. Paige, the kids, they're all still alive. Ah, oh, Double H, no. No. He's right. Let's get that daggum beluga souped up and ready for action. We will save the children. I will save the children. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. It's these boys. Um... Biff. No, I missed the biff. I debiffed him. Stop it. Double H, do you want do you want to help at all? Have you got a gun? Just like on your arm? What kind of tin man are you? Oh I think it's just I did I did hit it, but it's just um I think it has bonus health. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them now. I noticed that I do want to acknowledge the uh, the comment that someone put in the chat. The kids are working for the alpha sections. That would be the big conspiracy, wouldn't it? Oh! Let's grab these crystals. We need them for our boosts and things. And our health. Our, our tacos. Miss Jade, nothing broken. No, look at my massive health bar, Double H. I'm fine. Don't, don't worry about it. No! Yeah, these things just have four, four health, health, health hearts. Oh, it's quite sensitive. Oh, actually, I don't think you have to hit the tank. You just have to hit the thing. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you do have to. Oh, let me just eat a uh, one of those. Got ninety-nine problems, but a biff ain't one. Biff. Oh no. Um, thank you, Tyler. Again. Tyler with the bits. You got 99 problems, but a bit ain't one. Am I right? I, I don't. I don't know if I'm right or not. Who's to say? Oh, that guitar! Yes! Just this, this thing! Why is the final wave just one? Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't they do one and then one and then two? No, it's quite tricky to. Right, just just dodge him and then and then go for it. That's why. I swear to God, if three of them come now, okay. <laughs> oh, it's nice to be back playing this game. I, I, what did he do there? Is he still in the half a lighthouse? H, Hub, double H from double steps. Where, where are you? Is there a Starkos in the fridge? No, we took it, it literally in the first ten minutes of the game. We're fine. Jake Levis calling me a white ass cracker boy. Uh, why? What did I? Oh, I see. Because I just did a, I just did a, uh, a, a rap, a rap lyric, a rapping. Um. Oh, we have to press the button every time. Apparently, maybe. Yeah, maybe I should be closing it up. I'm glad it auto closes because the alpha sections would have found my actual spaceship. Um, that could have been bad. 
That could have been real bad. Uh, so, if we pop this in here... Oh my goodness, are you ready? That should do it. The ship is now in full working order. Time to take a test flight. Yes. Ready? Up we go. And this is not just a spaceship. Well, it's not yet a spaceship, actually. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a stellar motor, which means it can't leave the atmosphere. But this is not just a, a terrestrial in-atmosphere ship. This ship does something cool. Something real cool. That's the red one we've taken a photo of, that manta ray, stingray. But now I think you actually need the ship to find the blue one. That's why we've not found it yet. Here we are. Tyler says I'm pretty much exclusively going to get bits for triple jump. I don't really understand how bits work. I'm not... Oh, so this is what it does. You can attach the hovercraft to it. So... Now we can fly around. Oh, hello. Jade, I just got a new shipment of pearls in. Come by the store if you're interested. Oh, that's Billy Ray, that. The walrus man who uh, sells us copies of my own... Well, he doesn't sell them. He gives me po copies of my own reports for Iris. Um, so we can... Oh, goodness me. Don't worry, you can, uh, you can fly it in the water if you want. We can fly this wherever we want and then just drop the hovercraft and go straight into business. Uh, and it just flies around, and then you can reconnect it whenever you want. Oh, it's 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 v inverted, I think. I'm getting a bit confused, because I don't think it... Hello? We've done that one. Oh, no! Oh, my God! So we've got a picture of this fella, haven't we, now? That right? Oh, you can't really steer it when you're in. Hang on, is there is there an X sensitivity? Because I think that's my problem here. Is that it seems no, just mouse sensitivity. Okay, that's weird. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, we've we've got this guy, haven't we? Oh! Keep him in your sight. I'm trying. Okay, I've got a visual. Oh. I think the, the, the vertical sensitivity is different in the ship to like any other time in the game. It's really weird. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we got him. Okay, let's just destroy him then. We're gonna get him if it kills us. That's not the attitude. How are you gonna save You're your uncle and... Oh yeah, you, you, if you fly too far out, then it, you get a, a warning. It's fine. Oh, hard turn. Thanks, Double H. Oh. Oh, I just shot shit by accident. <laughs> You're allowed to apparently target the ships. Boom! One more! Oh no, more than one more. At least one more. Yes! Oh, and it's got a pearl! Sorry, I'm quite overexcited today, aren't I? Oh, it's got a pearl! Yeah, it's all right, don't worry. It's just a pearl. Is that the one? Finally, is this? Yes! Manta Cyania. Okay, it's filed. Good luck for the rest. Thank you. Okay, your roll of film is finished. Yeah, of course it is. Good. I'll transfer a pearl to you, Jade. This centipede remake and is I'll pretty rad, says film. Tom Price. Yeah, it's pretty good. I had centipede on uh, PS One. It was on like all kinds of platforms, wasn't it? Centipede. But, uh, I had a PS One version. It had some pretty cool music, as I seem to remember, and a kind of. I don't know, like a, a weird graphical style that kind of, it, I think in a way it slightly disturbed me. But not in a, you know those things like when you, particularly when you're a kid. Oh yeah, that's the thing. If you destroy these boxes while you're in the beluga, you get boosts off them, are which are pretty valuable things. Um, so that's, that's great. But yeah, you know when you're a kid and like certain things just creep you out 
when they're not inherently... Oh, yeah, and this is like the red. I think this is a separate whale. So I keep taking photo of that whale, even though I know that I have done. Because I think this one is different, maybe? I think. Maybe not. You I could check. Yep, I know. I'm, drift I'm slowly drifting out of territorial waters. You don't need to worry about it. Oh. Oh no, bad friend. Hang on, let me... Let's just double check that this is indeed... Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm waiting. What's wrong with that? Oh, come on. You are now leaving yes, I know I am. Trying to photo a, photo a whale. You can't photograph a whale from non-territorial waters. Or, or from... Oh, oh. Because oh, that's the one thing with the beluga. It just drifts forward all the time. Oh. Oh, come on now. Right. What I should be doing, actually, is doing it from the hovercraft. Because that is... It's easy to photo things from the, from the hovercraft, I find. Here we go. Oh yeah, much easier. It's more steady. The camera controls are better for some. There we go. It's easy as that. Mega mega tra purpura. Yeah. Jade. I've got purpura. Oh, I've got purpura. Oh, there's an M disc. If I if I finish my roll of film, I get an M disc this time. I think that means we're on literally our last our last roll of film. There's only so many animals left. We've been that efficient as we've gone through the game that we've not had to backtrack. And um, yeah, I thought we'd have to be doing some of that. But uh, um, uh, 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 this is your first warning. Uh, do you blow up if you leave? Oh no! I'll show you what happens if you leave. It's not. It's not that exciting. When it's your final warning and you're coming with us. It's the opposite of you're coming with us. It's you're not coming with you us. Are now leaving territorial waters. Final warning. It just shoots you back with like non-damaging. They just they say, no, please go back. So it's just that. Clean, clean the area. Final warning. So, I think... Maneuver not allowed. Oh. Risk high. Yeah, if you try and <laughs> drop the hovercraft at like 90 miles an hour, then then it doesn't let you do it. Um, so, there are, I think, some looters booties to do, if you recall those. We've done this one, right? We've done, we've done looters booty one and two. Oh, actually, no, that's what we... Rather than fly around going indoors, not knowing what they are, and then going in and realising, oh, wait, we've done this one, what I will do is use the pearl detector that I got from Ming Tzu's. Excellent. So. Oh no, did we leave a pearl in the. Oh. In the factory, we may have done. Oh no, that doesn't look good. Um, oh no, possibly not. I think that might be part of a looters thing. So, anyway, directly ahead. I'm doing a lot of flanneling around right now. I need to just get on with it. Pearl. So, just immediately, like, down here and to the left. In there, I think. Get them booties. Yeah, we're going for it. God, it's good having a hovercraft, isn't it? Just going onto dry land. Oh, this is a Vorax lair. Okay, fine. No, I'm all about it. Shoot here. It's too I'm not trying to shoot. I'm pushing the door. Here we go. So... Any animals here, Jade? Oh, we don't have a... Well... No. There's only... An oh, yeah, there's animals... There's one animal or some animals here, and there's two there. And that is it. We've nearly done all the animals. Oh, my lord. My lord. We've done these guys, haven't we? Little Bufo... Bufo Erectus, they're called. What is in here? Oh, yes. A plus one. Well done, you... Spy Hunter says, Swiggity Swooty, time to get the booties. It is. Double H is going straight for the booties. He's He can't wait to get involved. 
Oh, so this is... Alright. Peters! Oh. What, so is this Crochax or, or, or Vorax? Biff. Oh, I'm just so efficient. I'm, I'm assuming that these things are an animal. They're not. Get off the edge. Uh, what about fungus? Fungus is like a, a weird mid, mid thing, isn't it? Is it just going to keep throwing these at me? Or... Maybe I should just move on. Oh, there's a, there's a thing over there. Oh yeah, I think this might just sort of keep spawning them at me. We don't want. There we go. Get the crystals, and maybe we'll just go. If I pop over here, it might just de- yeah, there we go. It's not worth it, is it? I'm guessing I got these. They're from way back. Oh, sorry, Double H. It's a bit repetitive, some of this. Um, I think they should limit to, like, uh, when you can actually use the Double H attack, because, like, all you have to do is, like, get him to hammer, and then... You can you can smack a guy, yes, smack a a bit, a bit. Um, what is all that goop on the wall? That's weird looking. Okay. Um. Awaiting your orders, Miss Jade. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, Attack! you're right. You're absolutely right. A lot of bridges here. Oh, hang on, I think I can just do this. Yeah, that's better. Um, smack my bisque up. Yeah, that's it. Can anybody clarify if Double H was military before or if it was his time in the tank thing? Yeah, well, it's so it's not explicitly stated in the game, but certainly he is wearing Hillian Army uniform armor that they wear in town. Not Not Alpha sections who are like, they're literally just alien people who are super evil. I think the Hillian army are kind of bad, but they're kind I think they're subject to the conspiracy and they're, so the ones in town aren't horrible, horrible bad boys, but they're not the best boys. My understanding is that Double H probably used to be in the Hillian army. Then he was, he signed up to Iris when like maybe he got, got wind that like something weird was going on because he's read Carlson and Peters he lives by Carlson and Peters the military manual so he must have some military in him um, and yeah he's got the armor so uh... Ugh. oh I'll save you you're welcome oh we love Double H we love him so much we save him as well that's what we do Oof. Uh, I'm actually going to have to go back to that orange thing in order to lower that bridge. Um, Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? I don't know if that's a question to me or if people are already having a conversation about that in the chat. But my answer will probably be Mortal Kombat, but that's only because I've, I have very little time spent playing Street Fighter, therefore I can't, I can't profess to uh, be a fan. But I'm not against it in any way. My games, my fighting games, though, really are Tekken is my is my number one, but more just because of playtime. Like I've sunk so many hours into Tekken Tag and Tekken Three, Tekken Five. Um, Tekken Four was dreadful, uh, but actually, I think in a way I actually enjoy Soul Calibur more. There we go. Take that. Is that it? Is it just one pearl here? We got it. We cleared the zone. We cleared the sector. 
as Double H would say. Yeah, I really like the way that Soul Calibur is presented. Because it's, um, it's a really nice blend of Eastern and Western. Like, it's, it's I guess, in a, in a sort of in a Dark Souls way. You can tell that it's sort of made by, um, you know, a Japanese team or a, certainly a, a team from the from East Asia, whether, you know, I don't know who makes... Namco are a Japanese company, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but um, there's still a lot of, like, Western uh, inspiration in it as well, and I, I really enjoy that. Um, Double H? <laughs> Thank you. Just a bit of dead air there, right? I assumed he was going to hop straight into the <laughs> hovercraft, but he didn't. But he did, eventually. Uh, so, that wasn't a looter's booty, but swiggity swooty, we will find some booty somewhere. Um, so, pearl detector. I think this is one. This is one. On the other side of this island. Oh, where's the beluga? I've forgotten that we have a ship now. There she is. Oops, nope, no, nope, wrong button. Wrong button. There we go. Oh, it's just so fast. Gets you there so quickly. So, back end of this island, is it? Yeah. Slightly glitchy graphics there. It's a bad port, as I say. I was very pleased that someone uh, someone tweeted me the other day saying, you inspired me to get the game because I've been enjoying the stream so much. And that was a really nice thing to have said. And I was very pleased to see that it was a PS2 version. Um, because I don't like this... this it looks nice. It's nice and sharp and crisp, but um, because they they sort of upresed it, but uh, they've not supported it very well at all. So I think this is a, a pretty tough. These get really tricky now. These loose boots. Swiggities. Um, but I've got loads of boosts now, and boosts are really easy to come by because all we have to do is hop in the beluga and break all the boxes that normally have. Have credits in them. So it is. Wait, let's before we go to the next spot and set the door off there. Let's select our boosts. Here we go. The, the looter is waiting for me. That's nice of him. Oh, okay. One more door. The gap. Like, the sparks don't seem to have... Oh, no! No! I'm going to mash all my boosts to get there in time. Oh, I think I've screwed it. I've re... No! So we lose... Oh, look at that crate. It's just flying in the sky. It's fine. I think it gives you everything back, though. It basically... That that now has like become non-canon, and we like cut back to a checkpoint. Look out, Miss Jane. So I don't think you ever actually. Oh, I didn't know you could shoot during the cutscene. I don't think you ever actually lose that 100 that they take, um, and you certainly get all your boosts back. He just dropped a crystal at uh, that looter, which is interesting. I wonder if uh, I get less money back at the end because of like taking it off him. Oh, he's having a hard time. Really giving the, the looter a tough old time. If you will loot from me. Oh. Oof. Boost. God, the amount of... I'm making major profits here. There's a lot of crates. Unfortunately, because of the, the high pace of this sequence, that you can just destroy him with a single... Uh, Single shot. Oh, that's good. The spark is zigzagging. That's nice. Taking a long time. It takes a, a longer time for it to get there. Oh, steady. Oh, we're good. We're through. Yes. Looter's booty. Twerk it. Oh, yeah. Working it. Hillis. Okay, so there's one more, I think. One more looter's booty. We need all these pearls, remember? We need them all. Catherine Expat is late. 
Has Uncle Pace been rescued yet? Don't worry. You've not missed that. Um, we, we have a spaceship now. Catherine Expat and anyone else joining us. Um, you may remember from the disc that Paige left us just before he got kidnapped. She said, we have a ship called the Beluga. All we did, we went to the... we went to. I mean, you can catch up on YouTube or on Twitch if you're a subscriber. Um... Oh yeah, this is where there's a head of one of these things in here, and that's just in case you don't get to take a photo during the attack sequence, which is fun. Yeah, all we did was, on the bottom of Paige's shoes, there was a code that you type into a console in the lighthouse, and it opens a secret door, and then you have a ship. And now we need to get loads of pearls so that we can attach a motor to it so we can go into space. Uh, also, the, the lighthouse has been destroyed and all the orphan children have been taken by the Alpha Sections and Jade nearly gave up, but she didn't. I've caught you up and we've also been doing some booty. And now when we destroy these from, from the spaceship, we get boosts in them, which is super, super handy. Um, they're also <laughs> quite tricky to... Uh, To, uh, to gather. God, all the, the seagull sound effects are giving me slightly kind of disturbing flashbacks of, well not even flashbacks, flash forwards as well to uh, pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. Well, we'll just leave that one. I think it's glitched. Um, in Newcastle, uh, there is one of the biggest nesting populations. It's seasonal, they're not here all the time. But one of the biggest nesting populations of kitty wakes, which are a type of... Uh, they're basically a gull, I think. Well, they are. They're a gull. And, oh, good lord, the poops. The poops are bad. You get actual sort of small mountains of poops. And it smells because they only come in the summer when it's sometimes hot. They make a racket. It's real bad. I'll post a, a, a poop photo on my Instagram at some point. Oh, this is the hovercraft race. Oh, that's fine. We'll do this. We've got our boosts now. So we never completed race three, did we? Because we went into the, the slaughterhouse from here. The whips, the weak, and the Paige, please look after my ship. Peter slams it into several walls and the water. God, our hovercraft is just so ugly, isn't it? When we're next to all these Ferrari hovercrafts. Steven Seagal cameo. Yeah, that's it. Oh, we've got to wait for the... Remember the Speedo? Takes forever to appear. There it is. Hello, Dan... O Dan... Dan Osage. Dan Osage. I don't know where... If, if that has a split somewhere in it. If there should be a space. I'm just guessing. Oh, remember, remember Double H's quips when he races? Losers! They're all losers, Miss Jade! We love him. Second lap for the little rookie. So we're in third place. We've got to jump over these, uh, these bars. Really. Slow you down. Excuse me. I'm hanging on. I'm hanging on. Last lap. Where's the person in first? I need to seriously boost. Oh. No. They're over there. No. Oh no! Oh no! I hit the beam! Second place. Rufus beat us. Oh, is that enough to qualify? Oh, second prize, you just get some credits. Okay. Uh, we need, there's a pearl in here. I think I think you win a pearl, so we need to we need to go back and do it. The whips, the weak, and the wusses! Still have a quite a while to get the hell out of here while we wait for the speedo. Oh, this is even time for a sip of my drink. You can get a mug like this from um, 
triple ju.mp forward slash shop. There's all kinds of things. There's cushions, which aren't here. They seem to have disappeared in the dog thing. There was a dog thing that happened last week. We had, we had a dog cage. Oh, if I can just overtake this lot before the race even sort of develops, then that would be good. Just waste all my boosts. So we don't want to, oh, we all did it. Oh no, oh. I think you need to jump on that ramp, but not boost and jump. And not, not jump. Because there's a, ba there's a bar that hits you if you don't jump. And there's a second bar that hits you if you boost and jump and go too far. So, it's a fine line. So here, jump. That's it. And then boost. We're in the lead, Miss Jade. Miss Thyrus. Yes. We'll use these uh, track boosts rather than... Um, Waste, waste our boostages for the next race. Yeehaw! It's the little rookie. Yeah. Even better than Carlson and Peters. High praise from Tin Man. Right. Good. Uh, Efficient plugging there, yeah. Um, right. We've got to go around here. Race number four. Oh, bonk. Biff. So many biffs. We're going to have to Anyone know I can see this dog stream everyone's they talking about? They're just the same races as every time, Double H. Oh. What happened there? I was mashing the A button ready, uh, to, ready to shoot, so maybe I just skipped through it all. That's weird. I didn't realize I could do that the whole time. Oh well, you live and learn. On literally the last race, but we, we, we don't stand to profit from that new information at any point. But, uh, that's all right. There's some serious like scatting going on in this. Uh, I say scatting. It might just be a language that I don't speak. Oh, it's scat. Yeah, a little, little bit of scat. But no, I think it is. Good. Put the corner here. There we go. Um, what was I talking about? I can't. Oh no! I can't check what I was talking about because I'm concentrating now. I don't want to lose this lead because I've used almost all of my boosts. And if I don't win, I'm going to have to go out in the beluga and blow up a load of crates. I will. I'll look at chat, and that will remind me shortly what I was talking about. Oh, the dog stream. That's what we were talking about. Uh, you can check out the dog stream. I'm guessing on um, Cultaholic's YouTube channel. We've won the championship. I mean, it got slightly cut off there, but he says, "Let me give you a kiss," and she says, "Oomph, ha ha ha." Oh, oh my goodness. Confirmed. Double H just kissed Jade. We don't know where. Well, in the hovercraft. We don't know where he kissed her. But, um, he did kiss her. Exit. Right, so what have we got left to do? We've got some, some more pearls. Uh, on the left, there is something happening. Over here. Uh, should we just join back up to the beluga? Goodness me! We all burn together. I, I, I refuse to repeat that. 
some... This controller, uh, when I just very, ju I'll prove that I'm not just blaming my tools incorrectly. When I just tap, if I hold it just for a bit, it's fine, and then let go, it stops. But if I tap it, that's why I keep crashing into walls. Because of x pather and the fact that this is not, there's no actual in-game controller support and therefore it doesn't really know how to handle it. So this Collision might be... This might be Looter's Booty. It is. I thought we'd just done them before. No, we haven't. Have we? Look out, no, we Miss haven't. Looters! I'm not. I won't. He's not getting away. Oh. 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 Good start there. Smashed right into the wall. That spark is long gone. I think we'll make it. Oh! Too late. It wasn't worth a boost. We'll just start again. Look out, Miss Jane. Looters! Peter faints at the scandal of it all. Yeah, I can't Don't get away, Miss Jane. Uh, Maybe it does still take the money. I think every time you have a go, you do actually lose 100. I don't really mind about the cash. It's easy to come by in this game. Hang on, let's, before we set this spark off. It's a bit cheaty that you can do this. Because uh, that looter could, in, re in real life, would be getting away. But, uh, okay, there we go. I know. Yeah! So many lasers. Nice though. It's, it's a pretty cool looter's cave, isn't it? With the underground, underwater tubes. It's like a Bond base. Get him! Oh no! It's fine. Good. Fine. We're all fine here. Close call. Oh, there's f mines everywhere. Mine. Uh, uh. Oh, no. No. Too late. So we're on about 9,700. Does it now take us down to 9,600? Let's see. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. Oh, no. No. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's the case. Ouch. Ouch. No. That's a torpedo right there. Maybe not a torpedo of mine. Okay, here we go. Quite hard to do sharp turns, that's the only thing. This hovercraft is not super agile. It's just kind of a bit slidey. It's a bit Tokyo drip, as they say. Just in time. So it's actually better to slow down for the quantum. I don't think it even has a brake. I just have to let go of the accelerator. Make a horrible noise, those things. Oh. Okay, last one. We're through. We took a couple of hits, but we're fine. Oh my god, straight through. Grab the pearl. Grab. I'm out. I'm out. Let me out of it. I've got it all. We've got 11 pearls. We still need like 20. But don't worry, there's some big, there's some big booties. Non-looters booties. No, I'm, I, I'm not. I'm going back to the mainland. Help, master. Help, master. The looters are escaping. Master. That ramp was beyond good and level. 
Very good. You're all very good. So, pearls. There's a big cluster there, a big cluster there. Something going on there. Which might literally just be one that I accidentally left in the slaughterhouse, which kind of frustrates me very much. But it might not be. Because there appears to be like some sort of door there, which it might be... Let's just find out, shall we? Just fly right over that security droid thing. Let's go in. Oh wait, that's it. You remember? Do you remember when we fight fought the Cyclops green monster in like the second episode and it dropped a pearl and we forgot to get the pearl but Double H was all sick. The Reaper. Here we go. That's an old one. You normally get that like in your first couple of hours. But I just forgot to pick it up and then I forgot that we'd not picked it up because I normally pick it up. Um, there's just a body of a Reaper there floating around in the water. Uh, so that's fine. Don't need to worry about that. Now we've just... Ugh. Um, Silly thing. So, we've got pearls here and pearls here. Pearls there, I will go and get, but only once I have been to the city. Sort of. I don't want to go there without Jade in game knowing that she can go there. Because that's how I like to play these games sometimes. I, I don't like to mix player knowledge with uh, character knowledge. Unless it's going to make for some sort of cool spectacle. Like jumping over a, an explosion that ordinarily you wouldn't know was there. You know? Um, so now, we're in the city. And that cluster of pearls is, is like... It's because it's the whole city. So there's all kinds of um, alpha sections rooms that we can go into. What we will do is... To get more pearls. Motob. Oh, yeah. Spoilers. That's that's what I'm. Yeah. Okay. So the star shaped door that Double H was talking about. Is she selling pearls? No, but Ming Su is selling pearls. Oh, yeah. It's through there. So if you've been watching the streams. Oh, look at all this fire. Oh, it's 420. Oh, it's come round quick. Blaze it, everyone. Everyone blaze. Do the blazes. Billy. Billy Ray. Give me a blaze. Billy Blaze Walrus. Blaze Bill it, Whip. my dudes. Blaze this it. This one's for you, Peter. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, everyone. We'll all blaze together. I'm going to buy a pearl. A lemon suit. Account yeah. identification. Okay. Yeah. Bill Whip. Thank you, Solo. Quetzai. For the sub, i buy this pearl. That's good. May as well buy the Mecha Impulsor to boost my vehicle's energy. Okay. Everyone blazing. Look at all that fire in chat. Loving it. So, yeah, if you've been watching the streams, if, you've, if you're completely up to date on my Beyond Good and Evil, you will know that I've been talking about a super exciting cinematic sequence that... Considering the time, the, like the, the the year that this game came out, it's one of my favourite like cinematic moments from video games. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. They will have no pity. And I think, I think it's through here. Double H, press the button. Oh, I have to get another. Oof! 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 I'll find a way to join you. Could have my legs off. Watch your back, Miss Jade. It might not be this bit yet. I'll tell you when it is. This is cool. I know what this bit is, and this is cool. It might be after this. I really like this. This is like... You're doing more of your sneaking. But it's kind of fun to be doing it in the city. Because you're like, oh... All this is going on... Literally in the city, and no one knows about it. Like, this is just like a, a sealed off... Part of the... Like, it's a sealed off district. And there's like actual alpha sections... Doing bad things here. Um, you will have seen that there are loads of those bad lasers. Oh! Those bad lasers around, which means basically if anyone sees me, um, I'm screwed immediately. But that's fine, because 
it changed the music track when we spawned, and this is one of my favourites. There's a couple of different sneak tracks in this game, and this is this is a good one. Those keys, man. I think this fella moves. Oof. Oh, hello. Camera, please. Everyone be very quiet. If you're gonna if you're gonna cheer or subscribe, do it do it really quietly. Can you hear those? <laughs> Hello? The floorboards are going crazy. I'm gonna ch <laughs> chow down on some K-pops. It's fine. Um, sneaking. I'm in a micro. Shh. It's a quiet microwave, everyone, please. Sneaking through the city. <gasps> oh, no! Just see straight away. You've got to be real careful. I think it checkpoints though. Music is definitely not a letdown. Yeah, I agree. Turn the other way. Stay there. Oh, okay. No. Well, now I will stay here. Or can I just sneak past him here? Yes, I can. That guy is looking out of that window. I guess. Be very quiet. We're hunting alpha sections. Yes. Well, we're not hunting, we're trying to stay, trying to stay away from them. Gotta watch these windows because they can see you through them. Really love this sequence, it's really fun. There's like so many guards, but it places them in quite sort of generous, you know, it's not it's not actually hard to sneak past them, but there's that many that you feel like you're being really cool in doing it, you know? One of those flying uh, screens there with a bit of propaganda on it. Oh, steady. Thank you very much, by the way, to Buy Hunter for the bits. Um, lovely and kind. Just sort of entering this room without even knowing what. Oh! Oh, we made it. Sealed it behind us. Oh, pearls! Take them. I think we've got all the pearls so far now. Oh no, there's one gap here. Oh, there's a couple of gaps. That's fine. There'll be, um, I don't know. Oh, that one of them will be for the Animal Science Center and one will be for something else. I don't know. Uh, let's save the game here. I think this might be my moment. This might be my favorite bit. Now, do keep in mind, you. Do you ever imagine that the game music is what the character is actually playing in their head at that moment? Yeah, I would be if I was sneaking around like that. Do you keep in mind the qualifier in me saying that this awesome... Yeah, this is it. This is it. This awesome moment. You know, I'm, I'm accounting for the fact that this game came out 16 years ago, okay? So I, I compared this to Uncharted, but two generations prior. Just keep that the in mind. The super cool sequence you were talking about is after this sneaky bit. Yeah. I Thank remember you. playing it on a PS2 demo disc as a kid. Oh, really? Great stream, Tiny Peeps. I love this Thank game. Thank you. Yeah, me too. I love this game so much. Oh, that's a good way to demo your game, to be fair. Like, hey, the, the whole game is like this. You'll love it. Um, so we hop over here. And the best thing about the about this is like how seamless like it mixes the it just it goes into a cutscene but in a very seamless way. Again, like Uncharted, like your gameplay just becomes cutscene because you hop over this one with a dive roll, then you hop over this one, and half of your dive roll is in game, and the second half of your dive roll is in the cutscene like that. Lost sweetheart. Lost sweetheart. Run. Oh my god. And the camera angle changes. And everything is everything is blowing up, and the music is great. And oh my god, they're after me! I'm running out of health. There's cars driving around down there, I'm jumping over the roof, and then a little bit of cheeky slow mo, heartbeat, deep breathing. I'm still in control. Jump, Jade! Oh yes, over the cars. There's a ship. Oh my god. 
Everything's going on. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I don't have much health left. Oh my god, the roof. Double H, he's there. Dad goals. This. Oh, he, oh no. Jump, Double H, save me. No. Oh, I love it so much. Don't break up the team. Carlson and Peters, page eight two three. It's really short, but the slide and grab underneath and everything, and then he flies away on their own propaganda machine. Go. They'll lead us to an even larger prize. Oh. Double H was named Triple J. It was really cool. I hope I hope I didn't sort of overpromise and underdeliver on that. That's like my favourite part of the game. Because you know this this came out in what, like 2003 or something. Just just great for the time. So now we've got a save. We've got a save there. We can play it whenever we want. <laughs> um, so now, if I play, if I play a game. I can win that pearl on his hat. I've got so many pearls yet to to get. Actually, I mean, considering we just got a, an absolute bomb load, we might have enough for the thing. I'm up for a little game. Did you get my mail? Now we can do some serious playing. I'm warning you that I've been practicing a lot. Yeah, and this is kind of hard to. I'm not even being funny. It's quite hard to play with the. Uh, in fact, maybe it'd be better. Mm, no, maybe not. Playing with the mouse and keyboard. We'll have a go. Bet one thousand against the pearl. Go. Oh, he's good. He's been practicing very much. No, I lose instantly. Uh, oh. No, I lost the game. Let me see what how it controls with the uh, the mouse and keyboard. It might just be aim your mouse and, and click awesome the button. Awesome sequence. Yeah, Warrant, it was. more bits. You sold it oh. perfectly. Thank you, thank you so much, Tyler. Such generosity okay. today. You're the best. Um, go and speak to him. I don't want to play it with this with this weirdly mapped. Just have a practice game. I'm not betting 1,000 and finding out that I just can't do it with the mouse. But, oh no! Oh, okay, we're in. <laughs> we're playing. Is it? Is it mouse? Yeah. I do with the mouse map, but I'm playing on my knee here. Oh, and the sensitivity is quite high, isn't it? Because I changed it for the controller. But I'm doing better. Ah. Uh, I need a surface. I really need a surface. Oh, okay. We're fine. Does it work on the sofa? No, it kind of does actually, yeah. Need to put the sensitivity down there. I put it up for the controller because it's like not very sensitive at all. I lost though. Lost again. I'm running out of credits to bet. Oh, so much. Um, let me just put that down a bit. Oh, I need to accept changes, don't I? I'm in a microwave. It's fine. It's all fine. Pierce film lid and stir halfway through cooking. Hey Francis, hey Jake, wanna play a game? Um, I'm up for a little game. Let me, have, let me have a practice go first. He plays easier on you, like, in this mode as well, which doesn't help. Oh, it's torturous. We don't have to do this, but like, if I wanna... It's gonna be annoying if I don't do because I'll be able to like do pretty much everything else in the game. And we'll be finishing the stream with like 99.9% .9 completion because I won't have played this game. Um, oh man. It's 
See, even on even on betting a hundred credits, it's not. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we'll do this. It's not great streaming material, especially when you you've got a skeleton setup. Oh, he just won a hundred credits off me. Can I fire her? He deserves that. Maybe one day we'll come back, but um. Go on, TP. If you win, we'll keep watching. Um, maybe you could borrow the pearl. Isn't he a lone shark? Very good. Um, yeah, we've done we've done all those doors. So there's a locker down here. This thing. When you load your game from the front menu, on your save file it says internet code, and you enter that code into the Beyond Good and Evil website, which was done really well. It was like an Alpha Sections propaganda website. Like you go to it and it tells you about like the terrorist network, the the Iris, the Iris network, and like really cool stuff. Um, hey Mo. So apparently there's a nice little package of pearls. At the top of the volcano in the crater. That's all I know. But it's no joke, you can trust me. So that is where our next load of pearls is coming from. Everyone with Iris, rise, Hillians. Um, so we'll go do that now. And then we will have enough pearls, but there will still be a few bonus pearls left in the city. So I might, might then come back for that. And then we can spend the last stream on the moon. Um, yeah, so that locker, you enter the code into the, like, an app on the internet, on the website, and it gives you the code for the locker, um, and it's unique to every save file. Um, and, oh, the beluga, where is it? Around the other side of the city, I think. Because we need the beluga to get into the volcano. So that's why when, when uh, Mo first told me about that ages ago, in like maybe the first first stream we did, I just kind of glossed over it and ignored it because I knew like we can't even access it yet. Oh, where's the goddamn beluga? Around here, I think. There she is. Would it be wrong to quit and load the save from minutes ago and get your 2,000 back? <laughs> That's a good idea. I should have done that. I can at least do that. If I do want to keep going back and having a go at the Pearl, I might just cheat and at least then I won't run out of money. I don't mind getting that 2,000 back, but I just don't want to not have a 1,000 enough to, uh, to actually try for the Pearl. So this volcano actually has water in it. We drop the hovercraft off. It just shoots off because I gently tapped the trigger. You're going to have to be very careful. They say the treasure is guarded by a colony of Krochaks. And this is actually a, a fairly, fairly big side mission, if you want to call it a mission. Oh, and we've got a blob there. That's a new one. Okay, I've added it to my archives. Ariola Magnificent. That was called. It wasn't. That's not what it was called, but. Areola, magni a magni you've got magnificent areole. We've got one of those. This is some sort of armadillo praying mantis fella. He's he's a lovely chap. Your hovercraft will be full of eels. Perfect. Oh, I appreciate that very much. Up we go. So it's another abandoned mine. It's that way, Miss Jade. Oh, is it? Oh. Oh, thanks, Double H. Oh, the, home team. the AI is pretty good in this. Or, you know, at least the, the trigger. The AI triggers on this thing. Oh, what? Oh, or, or did he just mislead me? It's that way, Miss J. Did I overshoot twice? Oh, I see. So, ah. 
The nipple jokes are on fire today, says Tom Price. Have I done other nipple jokes? I don't recall. D -P -U -T -T. Don't break up the team. I won't break up the team if you smash this boy for me. You're not telling me that a military trained man can't shimmy across. I know you've got your big tin man suit on, but like, oh, I need to chow. Mm. Yum yum. Awaiting your orders, Miss Jade. Can I hurt these guys from a distance? Probably can't even hit him, so uh not worth it. In sight. Yeah, I see him. I see him. <laughs> I'm really curious. I wanna know I wanna know if it can be do it can be done. No, I think I hit him that time and it didn't work. Okay, here we go. So every crow chax in this place has a pearl. Ugh. And uh, the good thing is they just hover there and then when you take one, you take them all, which is nice. Okay, no Crochax. Not done yet though. Such a bad port. Really, just so many glitches that I've never experienced on PS2. Would not recommend this version. Jack Trilogy next TP to Spy Hunter. Do you know what? I know it's a bit sacrilegious, especially given that I like my mascot style platformers. 3D platformers. Not a particularly big fan of Jack and Daxter. Um. Ten four. Don't know why that's not in one of the things that it's normally supposed to be yes, in. But, um, can I? No, I can't. Um, I don't dislike Jack and Dad. Like, I don't have a problem with it. They're sending in backup. I don't think animals. I guess they do. Like bees and wasps do that, don't they? They make they like release a chemical, but like. Really are sending him back up, actually. Um, yeah, I just I don't like Daxter very much as a character, and I thought I know it's one of those games that I think just has too many too many bits and bobs going on all at once. Like there's just a lot to do. It just kind of feels a bit overwhelming. I mean, I mean that in a loose sense because it's a, a, a very basic, cartoony, family-friendly 3D platforming game, so it's not exactly. You know, complex. But I don't know. Some people might know what I mean. Some people might completely disagree. From all <laughs> Objectively, they're well-made games, Jack, the Jack and Dexter games. But um, because it's Naughty Dog, and they're, they're amazing. But um, yeah, just, just not, I'm not huge into it. In the same way, in the same way, I'm not. I quite like Ratchet. Ratchet and Clank, certainly the first one. I never played any of those, but like, I like the first one. Um, but that's still, I think, oh, I've got 33 pearls now. I think that can still feel like a bit much. Like, there's just a lot of weapons with different abilities, and I don't know. If we can get out of this alive, we won't be able to buy the Stellar Motor. We will. Oh! There's a lot of them, aren't there? My goodness me. Do I have time to charge my attack? Yes, I do. Yes, that combo. Oh, double H, sorry. Whoa. Oh, I was going to say, I thought there were five. Why was the fifth bell? Got him. Yes, we got them all. That's the end. That's the end of the line of pearls. It didn't go any further, right? So we've got three to get from in the city. Uh, then we've got... Oh, there's four there. Again, some of these come in sort of chunks when you get to the end of a segment. 
And there's one, two there. Weird. Um, go fully weird and play Echo the Dolphin. Sorry, that's just me messing with the mouse. I want to scroll up on chat because I want to know what people thought of uh, my Jack opinions. Sniper Elite 5, the Peter Austin edition. Ratchet and Clank, says Fred the Shed. Um, Gex. Gex could be fun. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to play after this, actually. That's a good question. I don't really have to decide until a couple of weeks' time, but... Um, yeah, that's a, that's a big old question, that. Well, this is this has worked out pretty well, pretty pretty good for timing, because I'm going to go until about quarter past five, because we had some messing around. I was late to start because of the dog stream, and then we had issues with alerts because of the dog stream, and then, you know, I'm bad at the disc game because of the dog stream. Um... But, uh, yeah, like, I wanted to spend this episode just kind of getting all the pearls, doing a nice roundup, um, you know, clear, clearing everything up so we're ready to go to the moon. Because it's one of those um, bits in a video game where once you go up there, you don't come back to the rest to the planet for the rest of the time. So, um, which is fine. Oh, and one of these here. It's got a PA1 in it. Because my health bar is looking pretty small. It's a boost, it's a mecha impulsor. Excellent. Well done, ye. Thank you, Secundo. You guys remember Secundo, the AI? The Spanish AI who who is rather fabulous. We do see more from him later on, don't worry. Interestingly, the there's an AI in the space <laughs> There's a there's an AI in the spaceship of um, Beyond Good and Evil 2 that we've seen in the second trailer. And um, because it's a, it's the the developers are going to the community for a lot of their sort of their input, their creative ideas, and they said, "What should we call the AI in the in the ship?" And people with quite in with it, it works really well, I think. They came up with the idea that um, well, if this one is called Secundo, surely because it's a prequel and and the the AI in the ship came before Secundo, it should be called like. Prima. So that's what they're going to call it, which is a nice idea. So, um, yeah, the... The, uh... There's an animal in here, apparently. The, uh... The AI in Beyond Good Evil 2 is apparently going to be called Prima, or something along those lines. Nice little nugget for you there. Yeah, there is an animal here. Some ways into the mine, actually. Weird. Just totally missed it. This will be a bit sad. This is where we came with Paige. Memories. Um, where are we going? Down here. Have you got a photo of one of these yet? Is that what it's telling me about? No. Um, is it in here? No. It's further on. Sackboy's been moved, apparently. That may have also happened in the dog stream. Where am I going, Jade? In here and to the right. Oh, do I, I have to go up this way now? Because I did the bridge last time I was here. Oh! That's a scary jump. Um, how do I get to that little bit? Oh, was it up there? No, slightly to the left. Ninety degrees to the left. Okay, well I'll run up here. It's not up here though, surely. Hmm. 
be around here. And down here. Main shaft. No, it's definitely not here. Be a whip. Thank you. Adam, the Chilean. Are you actually from Chile? Don't know if we've... Uh, if we're aware of any Chilean fans. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't really... Ah, okay. So I knocked this bridge down so that Paige could get up when we were first here and I never came down to investigate it. Oops. So apparently there's something up here. What is it? It's a... It's a happy little... It's a thing. You have to trick it. Amoeba polypodia. A polypody amoeba? My compliments. Oh, you Oh, cough. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Right. Excuse me. We're done. We've got all the mine animals now. Mine? And... Oh, this has sprouted its tendrils again. While I was gone. Oh, has it? Or have I come the wrong... Um, no. I'm right. Chilean like a... Villian. What? Ch Ch I don't understand this. What's going on? C, says Adam. Adam is from Chile. Good to know. Right. What's left? Oh, my God. A little dip. Oh, it's like being back in Newcastle. All the seagulls. Same as Bristol as well. Every, anywhere where there's sort of digital media companies, I think, just filled with seagulls. I guess that's just cities for you, isn't it? Right, Beluga, are you here? Bella. Bella the Beluga. Right. Um... I keep getting a Steam notification, but it's not showing up on your screen, thank God. It's really annoying me. Um, right, we've got an animal. Oh. Right. It's still showing an animal. Maneuver not allowed. Collision risk high. But it might be in the volcano. But I can't imagine there's animals in the volcano that are... Just dock here. Check your map again. Did I just miss something? Hello? What? They weren't there before. What? Okay. Come to Scarborough. There are loads of seagulls and pigeons. Yeah, I've been to Scarborough. It was one of our go-to seaside places. We lived like sort of equidistant from Whitby and Scar... Well, no, I think Whitby was actually a bit further. But, uh... Yeah, I went to Whitby, I went to Scarborough. Suddenly there's three animals. I mean, they might all be the same animal, in fairness, but I don't know how that has happened. Yeah, we're all heckin' bamboozled. This is some really thrilling stream content, isn't it? Just me backtracking through the mine multiple times. Um, I don't know why it didn't show before. Right, where are we going? Hello? Is it now not show? Okay, it is showing. Dead ahead. Wait, which? Oh yeah, there's like a. I remember that one. It's like hard to, hard to get. It's like it's really ambiguous where it is on the map. I've had an issue with that one before. I remember, but I will go further into the mine to the other ones. Um, and just hope that they're the same animal. I just have to find one of them. Because... Because that's super ambiguous. I, I think it's... I don't know. Let's not worry about it. Let's go down here.
Right, well, one of them's gone now from the middle of here, which is slightly worrying. No, I'm not really hungry right now. I didn't tell you to even eat anything. I didn't press the eat food button. Huh. Oh, yeah, um... I mean, that looks to me like it's, uh, at the old... The place we fought the... <laughs> Where we fought the Tarola Max. Would that be right? Am I right in thinking that? Am I going the right way? I am. Is there literally just an animal sitting in the middle of the... Tarola Max arena? Oh! Well, I saw something. Did you? Oh my god, it just flies... Tarolamax. It's one of the Dom's creatures. Wait. Oh, I forgot. Did I forget to take a photo of it at the time? Like, I took a photo and then I died. And then it brought me back to life. I, I respawned and I'd not taken a photo of it. That's weird. I didn't know it lived. I did not know you come back here and it's just flying around still. That's crazy. That's a first for me. Weird. So it just survived. So we still have a creature somewhere. I can't believe I don't... This is so different to my normal playthroughs of this game. Like, you know, forgetting the pearl uh, with the... With the, the the Cyclops, the Reaper, um, the Tarolamax apparently st is still alive. If you haven't taken a photo of it, which is interesting. I mean, otherwise you'd you'd struggle to 100% the game. So it's fair enough. But like, it's weird. I can't knock that bridge down either without something to smash into it. Some kind of enemy. I did. I did end Barlam. I found a, a new secret and/or discovery. In literally one of my favorite games. You're all saying it. You're all right. Back in part one, Spy Hunter. Oh, you were all saying it in chat. I'm sorry, everyone. You were literally all telling me, oh, yeah, there was that one boss you missed because I died. Well, thank you very much for uh, trying to tell me, at least. So, the one that's, like, weirdly placed is... um. It's like down a little, is it, I think it's up, you go up there and that brings you round. So yeah, along here. Huh. I think it's, I think the animal, oh no, it's not. Is it on this level? It's over there again now, where it wasn't before. I'm really, I'm, I'm actually really confused. Uh, I mean, it's not these flies, is it? I've got, I've got these flies for sure. They're everywhere. You get them in all, all over the game. Um, oh yeah, you kick that out, and then like something, something. Yeah, there's something about like the light. Like an animal comes out, I think. Can I do it remotely? No. Kick out the light. There it is. Oh. Oh, shoot. No. Okay, well, we found it. That's good news. Move. Preserve the home team. Don't get in the home team's way. Okay, we got that. Planers detest the light. It's rare that they come out of their lair. Well, you could have told me that before. Whew. Not gonna lie, I feel so much better now that you got that picture. I'm so sorry for it's because, like I say, it's just so unlike the normal playthrough that I would do. I'm still getting an animal on the map through here. Maybe. Uh, okay. There are a fair few through here, and you get a whole bunch of them 
I mean, I've got this guy, haven't I? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh, it just vanishes, that's fine. I'm not sure how I can how I can bring that bridge down without double H. Oh. A vulgar slug. See normally in order to knock that knock that bridge down, you need the uh, the little critters to spawn. So I don't know if I need to like get over there in order to uh, to take a photo of an animal. Is it on the map? No, it just vanishes when I'm here. Hmm. Is it because we're here, peeps? Are we putting too much pressure on you? <laughs> no. It's not. It's not the pressure. It's just. Uh, I get. I get chatting. You know. I need this bridge down, surely. And I can't do that without the little animals spawning. And I don't. And like they. They sort of jump up in your face, normally. Hmm. Well, um... So is it is it here now? Is it only when I'm not yeah. So it's only when I'm not in the area that that thing spawns. That's that's, re that's real useful, isn't it? That's real useful. So as soon as I go in here, does it vanish? Is that what we're saying? Yeah. Literally w when I'm in this area and it's not it's not this boy. We've got him. I don't know. I might have to... If we're lucky, it'll be an animal that appears in various... Oh! Was it about to... No? Activate combat there? No? Change the camera angle for a minute, but... Uh... No, okay. Yeah, so what we'll do is... There's still a couple of animals elsewhere in the world. I know that. And if we're lucky, the one that it's trying to indicate here... Um, might might also appear elsewhere in the world. So if we go and clear out everywhere else. So sorry about that sort of slight waste of time. Um, what it might be telling me is that it's like, oh, they normally spawn here and they no longer spawn there. But I know that the animals that do normally spawn there are, they appear elsewhere as well. So. Maybe. But I, I would have thought, in fact, is there a way to check what animals I've got? Two on map. Is it two on map? Where is that? What are you talking about? Okay, well, we'll go straight ahead, I suppose. Into this area. We'll look to the right, because apparently, oh, there's a sludge, an actual sludge up there. That might, maybe you can actually see it from like that other place where we were. And once I take this snap, it snaps, then it will, get off me. Oh my God, I think I might be, Whew, nearly got stuck in a mantis. 
There it is. A lovely sluggy boy. Ugh. Perfect. Papilio Pilosus. Remarkable. I don't think I've ever seen one this size. I like how every photo of every animal that Jay takes, like the animal in the picture, is always some sort of exceptional, you know. These don't normally walk on two legs. Jade, how did you? Okay, well, it's still showing. It's still showing the animal. But we've got two animals left on our roll of film to take snaps of. I know that one of them, spoilers, is in space. So if we go out onto the map and it says that somewhere in Hillis. Reference the chat, friend. We're losing our minds. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for this. <laughs> So sorry. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the bits to tell me to look at chat. I'm paying attention. Peter the cog. For the love of God, it's the cog. Shoot the cog. The cog tip. So cog. Cog. The word cog is weird now. Turn the cog. No. The cog doesn't. That's not it. I don't think it is the cog. I'm. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone, for your help. But that cog. I will go and do it now just to settle everyone's. I feel so sorry for all losing your mind over something that I'm reasonably sure, as a as a, a long time player of this game, is not for the bridge. Because I tried to do the cog at several points while I was there. I was like walking up to it, pressing X. I wasn't addressing it, but um, that cog is to lower the platform that allows you to climb up to the slug boy. Uh, my chat isn't auto scrolling now. Let me just. Uh, I will go and try for everyone's benefit because I know I'm sure oh, I should have just said at the time by the way guys I don't think it's the cog I didn't realize you're all going mad about it oh no it's not up there is it but I appreciate very much the suggestion and the help um, but it would be wrong there is a slight cutscene in the center that stops when you move Right, do I have to just stand still in the centre? Is that what you're saying? Because I saw it, it did like change the camera angle. Oh. Oh, see, I don't know if that's it. But anyway, the cog hit. You're talking about this cog, aren't you? The, that cog lowers this platform. Ouch! Respect the home team, chapter 12. I can't. Oh, hello. I, I don't have the option. You can't go up there. Sorry, everyone. It's trying to... It's changing the camera angle when I like first stand here. And normally, like, these little, like, impy gross critters pop up. The ones I was fighting in the crow chat's nest. Um, shoot it, you're saying. It's like changing the camera angle. I don't think you can shoot these. No. Sorry, everyone. It's like connected to that big cog down there and it lowers the platform earlier in the game. I, but I do appreciate the advice. Um, yeah, I think it's tr it's like trying to... Sp it might literally just be a glitchy, stupid Steam version of the game and it's not like spawning the critters that allow me to smash the bridge down or like... Uh, those might actually be the critters that I just haven't taken a photo of yet and I thought I had um, but there's a good possibility I'll be able to fight them elsewhere there were definitely some of the I know I can see in my head what animals spawn there um, and we fought some earlier in the Crochak's nest so hopefully I can at least go back there if that is indeed the animal I need to take a photo of but I don't think I don't think that's the animal that I need Worst case scenario, what we'll do is... Oh, I keep doing that. I'm going to check the map when I get out into the overworld. Uh, see if there is more than one animal print on there, which would indicate that the space... There's, other than the space whale, there's a creature to take a photo of. And I'll go to that location to take the photo. Um, but if not, 
I will look it up in my spare time, because I'm sure there'll be a forum post about that. So, map. Oh no. See, that one there... I think refers to the space whale. So literally... It's telling us we, <laughs> we need to take a photo of it. An animal in, in that place. Um, well, forget the animals for now. I will, I will work it out. I'll work it out, don't worry. So uh, apologies for all that running around, doing nothing. Yeah, I may have died in a fight with one and forgot to take a picture on revive. That That is possible. But in which case, there might be some to fight up there. Should we just... Oh, I'll just do it. I think it will bug me too much now. If... The creatures that I know spawn in that place next to the cog are the creatures that were here at the start. Whether they continue to spawn here after you've cleared out the nest, I don't know, but I'd like to think that they will. Boyos, don't let us down. I know I'm cheering a lot, but it's my first stream I've watched on Twitch. Love the team oh. and the chat. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Oh no, they're not. They're not spawning. Wasn't it here? Wasn't there like a little tube they were jumping out of? Oh no, it can't have been here because we were knocking bridges down with them. This is where we fought... Yeah, okay, no, this is where we fought the Crowshanks. Hop. So we've got a few minutes left. I guess all we're going to do is take take this photo. If if they're here, and if this is... I'm, I'm in a microwave, don't worry about it. And if this is even the animal that we are interested in. Which it might not be. Oh, no. Um... Was it not here? Maybe it wasn't even here. It might have been the Vorax nest. Okay, well, I'll have to look it up. Oh, I feel I feel bad that, like, the last half hour of the stream has just been me running around not achieving anything. Um, no, thank you, Tyler. It's, it's really nice that this is your first stream. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Glad you're cheering. That's, that's always... You know, helpful. Supports us. Very good of you. There is a possibility that this game has glitched and that we might struggle to get that final photo. I'm not sure. Hello? Connect me. <laughs> okay. So. Just hack yourself over the bridge. Is it that easy? Talking about my my exploits in the slaughterhouse. It's the final photo. Do 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 do. It is, but it's the penultimate photo. That's the, that's our issue, isn't it? I'm just I'm just hoping that the animal is here. It's not. Um, I'll go and have uh, I'll go and have a go at the disc game. We'll we'll end on we'll end on something. So, if we're playing, I think I'm probably best trying to play with controller. Put mouse sensitivity up. No, you have to accept changes. There we go. Just type hack and press enter. Pretty sure that's how hacking works. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it, actually. I'll just give that a go. So, we'll save the game before we start betting a thousand credits in the Akuda bar. Override successful. 
Hey, Francis. Can I play a game? I'm up for a game. Now I'm losing. Oh no. Yes. Yes. No! Oh my god. Oh, sorry. That was quite an outburst for me there. This guy's an asshole. He's a day ruiner, this boy. He's a great white asshole. No. Yeah, I know. And it's not easy with this controller, you know. So you should just... You should give me the pearl for one round, I think. The pressure. Oh! Don't do it. You don't want to do it. I'm sitting forwards. Concentration. There's wires everywhere. I'm going to pull the, the whole audio setup down again. Like I always do. I'm certainly playing better this time than I did before. But he's getting on top of me again. Yes. No. Oh. We could be here for a long, <laughs> a long time. Yeah, you water. But will you? No. Oh. <laughs> Let's move these cables so I can sit forwards. What is it about like the concentration face that makes people sit like this? I don't know how. I don't know why. No, he's going to get me. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. <laughs> Stop. Stop laughing at me. It's not this hard when you... On um, Normally, when you play with a, a controller, you swing... You just you aim your analog stick where you want the arrow to be pointing. With this, it's like tank controls, so you're like you're just turning it left and right, just by by degrees, if you see what I mean. Like you're not pointing. You Jesus Christ! Go. Um. Oh my God, that is insane. It's like the Dark Souls. The Dark Souls of uh, Beyond Good and Evil. Is there a surface on which I can use a mouse nicely? Because that would... That might be better, possibly. I should be winding up the stream soon, but I just... I want to end on some kind of victory after that debacle with the, with the photos. Yes. Yeah, no. In. Yes. Ooh. Okay. It's my advantage now. It doesn't help that, like, it also, it just, it just gives you, like, a run. You can't, like, switch discs. Oh, come on. Have they got the Alpha Section logo on them? They have. Oh no, that was so... I should have had it. I'm just hitting the corner. So yeah, the game just assigns like the next disc, but you don't get to choose which one you want to fire. Because some of them just end up in stupid places. And you're like desperately trying to like... You just want to like fire one into the, the mouth of the goal, if you like, or whatever it's called, just to like shift some stuff out of the way. Um, 
and then it gives you one that's just like in the top right corner that's never even going to get in there. It's just, oh, what am I doing? I'm choking. Oh, I'm just shooting them all into like... Stupid places. No. Oh. Thanks for all the support, chat. I appreciate it. What is he doing? No, he's going to do me. He's going to do me. Oh. oh, steady. I'm convinced I can do this. I'm convinced. I won a round. The first two or three, you should actually be able to get in if you're really quick and precise. You win. You've got to go a little to the left, a little to the left, a little to the right, harder right. Oh, but sometimes he just like fills the mouth up like that. Oh, a little to the left, a little to the right, and then he just fucking just effing fires loads of them at you. No, I lose. But you you can see like you're only you're only ever one round away. I feel I feel like go a little left, a little ah oh, screw it, a little right. Yeah. Oh, it's in. Okay. A little left. A little right. Further right. And then it's, it's all bets are off. You lose. <sighs> Go. A little left. Oh, no. You lose. Oh, my God. He's just so good. I think I do wonder as well, like, what... I wonder, like, whether, um, Go. if you win round one, does, like, the AI increase even more? Like, the difficulty? Oh, my God. This is not good. Yes, we're back in control. We're losing control. It's like air hockey, but not fun. Are people still watching? I wouldn't be. Oh my God, so many of them are coming through. No. Don't do it to me. We won't. I'm not going to labour it. I'm not going to labour it. If it goes on much longer, I don't want it to become unfun to play or watch. Oh my god, I'm, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Should we play until we're out of money? Oh we'll play until we're out of money. I think we've only got... Go. I think we've only got like one, one go left. Oh, come on. It's just so... Oh my god. I'm get, I don't normally get like super ragey with video games. Like, I really don't. But like, I, I'm, I'm livid. I'm so angry. Angry Peter. I'm not tiny today. I, I, oh, look at them all. You lose. Yeah, I know I lose. Okay, you win this time, Francis. Did I, was that just one round? What happened then? Do I have enough money to bet? I do. Go. 
This goddamn music as well. I'm getting so close to swearing every time. I think I should just actually just take it a little bit slower. I'm like trying to play it really fast so that I can like just get them across, but like see like I'm just being careful here and aiming. Aiming a bit more carefully. There's a fine balance, because like that gives him time to to just fire him at me, but there we go. Yeah, that might be Oh That might be the way to do it. Because if you're getting one across every time you shoot. Like, he doesn't actually do that. So if you can just beat his average. Sometimes he just gets, like, a whole load of them through. Because I think he, what he basically does is he aims vaguely towards the goal. Or the hole. And then, occasionally, he'll set off, like, a chain reaction. So all the ones that are just sitting there waiting to go through will all go through at the same time. You lose. Go. Oh! Oh! It. Okay, you're the best. I'm out of credits. Oh, it might not have been helping that the mouse was clearly moving all over the place next to me during that game, which which does twiddle the the aim. But um, that's that's an F and a rip and a and a bad time. Her uncle goes missing. She turns into a gambling addict with a disgraced military veteran as a companion. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the state of the last hour of that stream. We uh, we ran around in circles chasing an animal that isn't there kind of any of the time. Not good. And um, that might literally be a glitch and I'm, I'm worried about that. And uh, then we lost 8,000 credits on a game that is really hard to play via X padder control controller mapping system so um, we'll see we'll see how we get on next time but we certainly have enough pearls left we certainly have enough pearls to buy the stellar motor and go to the moon and do all the moon things that we need to do so uh, join me next time for what will likely be the final episode no don't over overwrite it We've got money on that safe. We'll just keep the money safe. Um, so, let me let me go on the, the full screen outro. Where is it? Uh, that one. Thank you for your moral support. Thank you for uh, trying to get me through that disc game that just wasn't happening at all. Um, what I could do next time before I start the stream is bring down just some kind of hard surface and mouse mat. And you, you just use a mouse like it's the way it's meant to be played. Either use a mouse as as this game wants you to play it because there's only computer controls, or um, well, yeah, that that's that's how I need to play it really because this this is not doing me any favors. I'm also just bad, like I was just playing too quickly, but you know, I think it's a bit of both. Anyway, it was because of the dog stream says says uh, Marta God. It was. Let's blame the dog stream absolutely. Um, Code word. Code word, says Marta. Well, yeah, um, today, tonight, we've got a list going out, which is unusual, but we have. There's a list going out on the channel tonight. Um, I won't, I won't, uh, let's not do a code word, because I think, I think you'll just really enjoy the list for what it is, and I don't want to, I don't want to derail the comments section. But check out our list, 6 p.m., about half an hour it goes out, 6 p.m. GMT. You're going to really, really enjoy it. It's some, like, really highbrow professional um, insight from a couple of guys who who have have the knowledge um, yeah you you'll weep for the loss of my credits please do um, this is already out isn't it says Lobrotovich how did it go out an hour ago 
Well, that's weird. Oh, I see, because it will have been scheduled for 6 p.m. GMT, but we're not on GMT anymore. Um, so there you go, you got it an hour early thanks to time difference changes. So we scheduled it on in winter time, and uh, YouTube, YouTube just didn't convert it. But anyway, that's it, we're done. Um, Next time we'll do some proper narrative things and we'll go to the moon and we might save Uncle Page and the orphans and there's a really strange ending to this game that hopefully we'll, we'll get in, we'll, we'll, we'll have time to fit in. Um, there are still some pearls to get there from the, from the alpha sections in the city, so you know what, it might, not, it might not be the last Beyond Good and Evil stream, who's to say? It might be if I overrun and just do it all in like two and a half hours, but we'll, we'll find out. Anyway, that's it, another long rambling outro from me but uh thanks for joining me everyone it's been really fun go check out our list on the channel right now came out an hour early and uh all the all the usual links and and everything will be on the vod and and you know i'm exhausted